Alright YouTube, uh, let me turn this down a bit so that you could hear me talk. Alright, so this is how to use FS Passengers. Once it's downloaded, you'll have this little top bar. Click that, go down to FS Passenger Setups, click General Setup. Then just skip that. Uh, that's basically normal. So, yeah, um, that. You could change this if you want it, how much chance of failing you want. Pretty easy. This is all the stuff that you will need. Um, I would suggest copying this like that. Hitting Control C and then. Actually, no, you don't need to do that. My mistake. I click Print Keyboard Sheet. You can do that if you want. And then, yeah, um, uh, click Next. Uh, and then it comes to this. You can copy mine. Like, that's the sound, the brake effects. Yeah, you can change all this. If you want. You can copy mine if you want. Everything's good apart from this. The G. P. W. S. That gets kind of annoying. I just keep it like that. Click next. Yes. And the voice pack. This will be good. I don't actually know any. I'll just keep mine at default. If you want, click next. Uh, no, I didn't really change anything. Just then, that's it. Close it. And then, also, what you need to know, know is go to Create Company and Pilot. If you want, you can create your own company. I made KLM. KLM is my favorite air company. Uh, I just use the default because they have a bunch of money. DMO Airlines. And then, you can click your pilot, James Demo and James Owen. That gets kind of annoying. Uh, select company. Yes. All right. Uh, I have $140,000, and I have 72% reputation. So that's you can create your own company or leave it as your own. Whatever. I don't care. I don't own you. So yeah. Um. Ah, let's talk about this. Go to FS Passengers Flight, click Restore Last Position. Then it should come up with th um, four. The CRJ, the 737, a Beach Baron, and then a War Pack with the DC-3. I don't use that. I sold my uh, Beach Baron and the DC-3. DC and then I made, got my Airbus A321 Air Canada, and then I kept the two. You start off at, um, what is it, uh, La, uh, San Francisco. And then what I do is I fly to Sacramento Executive uh, Airport Code, KSAC. And then I fly to other places. As you can see, I flew to Los Angeles in 737. So I should keep it like that. Um, and then, yeah, uh, to sell planes, you go to Company Manager. This is basically where everything goes down. Like, you click on a certain aircraft, you can click Sell Selected Aircraft, se Sell Selected Plane, and then you can buy other planes. Um, uh, and then aircraft maintenance, if something needs to be repaired, it will come up right there. Click that. Then click repaired selected or repair all. Pilots, that's the rank. Then how many minutes and hours they've logged. Price. 
Always the price. The VIP is $800, 600 400 300 uh, Drinks are $8. Um, sandwiches is $6. Hot foods is $18. Then products quality is 20%. Which is kind of bad. Let's service cost. Let's move that up a bit to... 100%. Alright. Then oil prices kind of does it down. And then static prices, or statics, and all that. Um, everything else, it, you can click select active company. Then you obviously select your active company. KLM only has $70,000. DMO, D, DMO, demo, whatever. It's 140000 So I do that. Um, everything else, you can click Dangerous Area Database, and that tells you all the stuff where you can get shot down. Kind of sucks. You can get shot down. No joke. <laughs> and then you crash, and then you kill everyone on board. That's nice. Uh, this is the frequency list. Uh, search and... Uh, a X search frequency. Oh, the frequency. So yeah, you can do that. Um, add new ones. Uh, that's basically all you need to do is know what to do and all. And to start a flight, like once you've had your aircraft and everything, click start flight or load current flight. And just come up with this. 160 passengers. Just click OK. Then you can change how many people you want on board. Just max that out. For this, I'll go about 8,000. I usually go 8,000 for both. And then change your fuel. Ooh, that's a bit too much fuel. And right here, it tells you how much you're over. And then just inch your way down until you find the right one. Like right there, that's good. And then for this, you could change if it's a cargo or if it's like whatever. Doesn't really matter. And then if it's a it's just a 737. And yeah, so that's basically all you need to know about this. Oh, and then click set destination. Uh, this flight, I'm going to go to K-S-A-C. No, that's not it. I forgot the name. K-L-A-S. That's what it is. McCarran International in Las Vegas. Click OK. Set. set. And then it says that. <laughs> set type. I always do normal flight. I don't do flight tour or aerobatic or whatever. Just click um, that check, and then it goes to that all the time. Then click Okay, load immediately. And it should come up with that. Limited demo. The demo is <laughs> Oh, that's that. Okay. Use the James demo. Always use that. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Because it, the patch doesn't work. For me, at least. If it works for you, then that's great, but <laughs> for me, it doesn't work. Um, go to set destination, K, K, L, A, S, again. Destination set. Click fuel. Oh, I already have my fuel set. Whatever, click OK, load immediately. Oh my god, why is that working? Not working. So, yeah, that's basically all you need to know. All right. Subscribe, comment, rate. Alright, bye.